Hey, it's Jonathan from Little Red Tug. Today, we are gonna take a trip over to Narragansett Bay. And we're actually out here in Bristol. We've been able to uh, do some motoring. We saw some Greenwich, I'll show you some pictures. And then we're gonna head back up to Providence. So enjoy today's travel along Narragansett Bay on Little Red Tug. Narragansett Bay is Rhode Island stretching all the way from the urban center of Providence to the north to the rocky shore outside Newport Harbor at the entrance to the Atlantic Ocean to the south. And all along the 256 miles of shoreline in Narragansett Bay, 147 square miles of ocean, and 30 different islands, large and small, there are numerous places to stop, anchor, explore, and enjoy. We headed out on this Saturday afternoon to see what Narragansett Bay had to offer for us and our ranger tug. Boaters on Narragansett Bay have it pretty good. The bay's islands, rivers, and coves provide paddlers and power boaters with protection from the wind, while the consistent summer breezes are beloved by sailors and vessels ranging from sunfish to ocean-going catamarans. Then there's the fishing for striped bass, bluefish, fluke, sea bass, and scum. And when it's time to take a break from the water, the bay is surrounded by interesting places to visit, all of them offering sustenance and in many cases shopping and sightseeing. Showcasing classic New England features, Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island offers a perfect package for cruisers. Geographically, it is both protected and spacious. Stunning scenery, deep maritime traditions, generous opportunities for mooring or dockage, and an abundance of shore activities draw boaters. Once home to the Narragansett tribe, the bay bearing this name still beckons travelers from around the world. Roughly translated to mean people at the small point, Narragansett Bay offers many cruising options from quiet coves to the Newport Vibe, to picturesque towns and the urban hum of Providence. Sweeping hills, verdant pastures, craggy cliffs and beaches punctuated by farms and small communities embellish the coastline. Numerous state parks allow hiking, picnicking, fishing and swimming while anchored nearby. Rhode Islanders know that they can gain access to the heart of the state capital in a small boat. Granted, the water gets pretty thin north of the hurricane barrier, especially at low tide, but you can usually take a dinghy, skiff, or kayak far upriver for a unique perspective on the city. Granite landings along the river provide a place to tie up and explore the revitalized downtown area up to and including the Providence Place Mall. Our day trip only allowed us a small taste of the bay. You could spend a week, a season, or even years and find a new experience each time you cruise this area. But each time you'll always find welcoming locals who will greet you with the regional beer and the saying, hey neighbor, have a Gansett. <laughs>